Hi guys, and welcome back to another video on Planetoid. And in today's video, I will be doing a what's in my bag. Also a little mini review, cause I have this bag for a little while now. So I think I can do a pretty good review on it. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, I did a review a while back of this bag. This is the Michael Kors Charlotte 3-in-1 Tote. And I did like a first impression mini review on it. And so far, I do like it. There's some stuff I have to say about it, but I think I still recommend it overall. While I'm doing a review, I'm just going to do a what's in my bag, just so you can see how much this bag can hold, because wow, wow. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, because first off, I don't know if you know, but I'm a small bag girly, so I usually carry small bags, but then my husband for last Christmas gave me a gift card to Michael Kors because he knows I like that brand. And I went shopping and I decided to try something different and get large size bags. So I do have now like three or four large bags, but I still have like 10 small bags. I still love my small bags, but I haven't been using it lately because man, I've been overfilling this bag. So that's one thing I'm gonna tell you, if you're coming from a small bag to a big bag, like, you're gonna fill it up, like. <sighs> wow. <laughs> yeah, so this is inside of my bag. Like, this is how much is inside and this is what I carry. And I think, I'm trying to see, should I just take it out one by one or pour it all out? But I think I'm gonna just take it out and say what's in there. But overall, I like this bag. This is Sofiana Leather. I have one in brown and I have this pink one. And I think I like the pink one better. It's so cute. But yeah, I'll try to attach the video at the end with the hauls. So first, actually, I'm going to start with these because it matches the bag. So first, I'm going to start with the 3-in-1 tote itself. So this is the Charlotte 3-in-1 tote. And the reason why it's called 3-in-1 is because it comes with three pieces. And you can use all of these pieces different ways. And one of the ways is using it all together in the bag, like I'm currently doing, which is just storing these inside of the purse. Or you can even wear them separately as clutches and crossbody. So I really think this bag is extremely versatile. And I think that for what I paid for it, it's a really good price. I paid... I hope I'm not wrong. I paid $150. If not $150, the actual price is in the video. But the actual price of this bag, at least on the tag, was like $500. Like, wow. I'm glad I paid what I paid. I got it on sale during the holidays. But yeah, that's why it's called the three-in-one tote. Because of these three pieces, you can either wear it all as one or you can separate them however you want. So that's a brief thing about the bag. So I'm first going to start with this one. So the way I have my bag set up is... I'm just simply storing all my stuff in different organizers. And when I say organizers, I mean stuff like this. So with this one right here, honestly, <laughs> I need to reorganize my bag because I low-key forgot what's in all of my different compartments. But this one right here, I see I just got some cash, like a couple dollars. And what else is in here? Oh my goodness. Oh, I also have pictures of me and my husband. This is when we went out one time. Where did we go? Oh my gosh. I don't even remember where these are from. And I feel like he would remember. All I know is we went to some kind of like arcade place and we took pictures there. And these pictures are really cute and mean a lot to me. So I like to carry them in my bag. Other than that, that's all that's in this back pocket. And then on the inside, okay, this is where the structure begins because I try to keep my bag organized a certain kind of way. So on the inside of this, this is kind of like my mini little groom bag, I guess. So I just keep my pads, my perfume in there, and then a hair tie if I need to tie my hair while I'm gone. And that's pretty much all I have in here. Um, it might vary to be honest, because I feel like I'm always changing my bag up a lot. 
And actually, I'm thinking about changing from this bag to a different bag. So I don't know yet. But before I do, at least I got a chance to do this video. So you can see what's all in there. So with the other clutch that's in the bag, as you can see, it got places for you to put a strap. This one, okay, so this one is some more grooming stuff. But this one is more so like for my nose, like tissues, oral stuff for my breath, like Tic Tacs and everything, hand sanitizer. So this one is more so for like sanitizing and just smelling good, something quick versus this one. This one's like my pads, my little incognito bag. So yeah, I do separate them. Don't know why, just cause. <laughs> and then I also have like this right here. You know, I have not tried this. If you've tried this, I'm curious, let me know. This is the Tide to go. And basically if you have a quick stain or something, you can like wipe it on your shirt and it's supposed to make the stain go away. I don't know if that's true, but I saw it and I wanted to get it. Y'all, let me tell you something. When I first got this bag, I went into overdrive. I felt like because I have a big bag that I should put a lot of stuff in there, but that's not true. You do not have to put a lot of stuff in there. But when I tell you, this bag can fit so much stuff and I still have a lot of room even after having all this stuff in my bag. It can fit so much stuff in this bag. So I still recommend it because I think it's great, especially for like trips or even just a great everyday bag. You can fit a computer in here, or well not computer, a laptop. You can fit a tablet and a laptop in here, but be weary of the size because I don't think the biggest size can fit. Like I think 16 or higher may not fit. Haven't tried it, don't know, but just keep that in mind. Um, What was I saying? Oh my gosh. I was saying a lot of stuff. I'm sorry, I'm just thrown off by all the stuff I have. Oh, that's what I was saying. I went into overdrive and bought so much stuff. I even have stuff put away in the house to restock my bag when I run out. Like, it's crazy. But in here, like I said, I have stuff to clean and sanitize. So sanitizer, uh, this tight to go to clean my shirt or any little stains. And then I have this clean X tissue and I have a whole bunch of sanitizing wipes in my bag. And the reason being for that is, of course, you want to be clean wherever you go and have a quick wipe if needed because you never know. Some places you go don't even have soap in a bathroom or they run out or whatever. So you'll be surprised. Also, I just got a new piercing. I got a septum piercing done again. So I bought some of these to clean on the go if I need to. I also have my lip oil. This is the Fenty brand lip oil. I do have other brands, but honestly, I have no idea, like, what's the best. I think they're all good. I don't know. Like, I'm not a beauty girl, so I wouldn't even know. Then I have some Advil because as a woman, we always need some kind of pain medication on the go. And my period coming up, so I'm over it. <laughs> And then I also got some Vaseline in here. And personally, if I have the lip oil, I probably don't eat the Vaseline. But I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it's good to have multiple of something. So you can just reach in whichever way you grab, you can use. I like the Vaseline lip therapy. I think it is really good on your lips. It's not too thick, but it's also not super thin like the lip oil here. But I also like the lip oil because sometimes I don't need all that thick stuff on my lips. Like I take very good care of my lips. So usually using this is good enough. But I have my days where I might need some additional moisture. And then, oh, you know what? This isn't even supposed to be in here. <laughs> it's just um, a lip brush because sometimes, not a lip brush, a lip marker, pen. I don't know about makeup because as you know, look on my channel I really don't wear makeup but um it's a lip pencil there it is lip pencil and I like to line my lips with it and put on some lip oil and lip gloss and it'll just have like a simple cute look you know sometimes when I feel like mixing it up I usually don't wear makeup but I'll at least wear that and maybe some lashes and then here I have some mascara this is lash <laughs> Is it Idole or Idol? Sorry, I don't know makeup. But it's by Lancome and they say it's really good and I think it's personally just okay. I don't think it's all that, I think it's just okay. But once again, what do I know? 
Oh, this right here is the, ooh, this is Viva La Juicy. It is gold couture. It is perfumed. And I just keep this for memory of my late mom. This was her perfume bottle and she loved Juicy Couture. So I just keep it and carry it around because it makes me think of her. That's it, it's empty, so. But it's a nice bottle. I also have some Neutrogena makeup remover. So when I told you I went crazy in the store with like stocking up, that included these. I don't use it for removing makeup necessarily. I use it when I feel like my face just feels dirty or it just needs a good wipe or something. So I do carry one or two of these in my bag. And for some reason I have a lifesaver. It should be in a different um, organizer, but whatever. And then I have floss, which I might put with my Tic Tacs because I also have Tic Tacs, so. I don't know yet, but that's what's in this clutch right here. So I'm going to put everything back. But the first one, this one, I didn't really show you the inside because like I said, it's just like feminine products and you know, that's somewhat personal, but not really. But I didn't feel like it was no use. Oh, but I can tell you that the kind of feminine products that I use is the Honey Pot Pads. So black owned and on top of that, I think their pads are really good and absorb really well, but they're not super big or bulky when you wear them. I really like it and I do have a heavy flow, so I highly recommend it. And I guess since I'm talking about it, I'm not ashamed to show it. I can show it real quick. I'm gonna show just the pack. Oh, Dior perfume. And I keep my mirror in here. Oh, actually, I guess I did have something to show in this one. I keep my mirror in that bag so it's secure. And then this is how it looks. So it's pretty thin, but this is the super. So it's like, I guess so, you know. I haven't really had too many oopsies since using Honey Pot. So I actually like it and I recommend them. I do. So yeah, that's what's in the two clutches that actually come with the bag. So that's what I put in there, but it could change, of course. So that's what's in these. So now I can go off brand a little bit. So I do carry a couple of Coach products in my bag as well. And these actually go with another bag that has the same pattern design. My favorite. It is so beautiful. And this is... What is this? I guess like a clutch. I don't know what to call these. I'm really not good with like bag names, but we're going to say it's a clutch. And of course, this is the wallet. And in my clutch, I have some glasses cleaning wipes. I don't know why they're there. I don't. And then I have a little notebook and pen. Yes, I do actually carry this with me. This is not even a front for this video. Like, I legit write things down when I'm out. You just never know when you need it. And sometimes I put it in my phone, but a lot of times I forget because I'm a planner. So I like to use my written planners and it's just a habit sometimes. So I bring this with me to write just quick notes or anything down if I forget to use my phone. And then I just have some... Mon Paris Perfume. This is YSL, just a sample. And this is how the inside looks. It's just open. Like all of these are pretty much just open concept for putting stuff. Here I have my wallet. My wallet is a hot mess. Um, I would show it, but I did not get a chance to. I'm trying to like put everything away. So a quick glance, this is how the inside look. And then I have a top compartment to keep coins. And I have another compartment to put dollar bills, which is why I don't know why them dollar bills are in here when it should be in here. See, I got to reorganize my bag. I really do. But that's what's in my bag. <laughs> okay, I got a few more things to show. So I have my little kitty. I just use this kitty simply for when I sometimes feel stressed while I'm out. I know that sounds weird, but I don't know, it helps me. Sometimes I might have some kind of anxiety 
or if I feel stressed or even just bored. It don't even have to be nothing bad. If I'm just bored, but like I can't have my phone or don't feel like being on my phone, I'll take this out and just play with it. I don't know why, but it occupies my mind. Also, it just looks cute in my bag because I don't play with it often, but it looks cute in my bag. And sometimes I spray perfume on it so it can smell good and I'll just throw it in a bag and yeah, it smells up my bag. So this is cute. I got this from GameStop. It's just a little plush Fruit Loop cat, I guess. I don't know what this is. And then this I got off Etsy or Amazon, but y'all know what this is for. Okay, all this hair. For like when you have long nails or you don't want to touch the cards in the card reader, you could just use this clip to put your card in and out of the ATM. And then it just comes with a puff ball. And of course I got it in pink. Then I have another like grooming bag in here. So this is just lip glosses, lotions, hand sanitizer, Tic Tacs, which should be in a different one. Y'all, I was trying to organize it in a certain way where I'm like, okay, stuff for my period go in one bag, stuff for like lip care go in another bag, like lip glosses or whatever, oral stuff like mints and stuff go in another bag. Like I had it like that, but then you know how I get. <laughs> I, well, you don't know how I get, but I know how I get. Like, sometimes I'll just toss it in and then I have to reorganize it later. I don't know what it is. It's an organized chaos in this bag. Usually it's not, but it has been for the past, like, three months now. <laughs> Ooh, this right here is really cool. I think the brand is Revlon. So this is simply just, like, um... I forgot what it's made of, but it's a stone ball that when you're like sweating or something or oily is supposed to take away that moisture. So I'm going to use it now because I know I'm oily now. I don't know if it made a difference, but I am a little sweaty. So I think this will help right now. But basically when you have any kind of oils showing on your face, you just wipe it on your face and it gets rid of the excess oils. And this is really good because I've used it before and it actually does work. I don't know if I showed anything on camera because I feel sweaty. Like, it's hot in my room right now. Like, I'm ready to be done because it's hot in my room with all these lights and it's summertime. But also, like, this was a good demo. So hopefully, it showed something. <laughs> I do recommend this. It's Revlon and it's, like, called the On The Go or something. And you just, like, rub it on your face. I don't know. Then I got some receipts in here. More receipts. More receipts. Oh, so this is my keychain. I like to carry this with me just because I like to try to start collecting pins as well. Because first off, the memories of this thing. My husband and I went to our first video game Twitch convention last year and had a good time. And I just carried this as to keep memories. And I don't know, good luck, I guess. Got some more stuff for taking care of myself. So hand sanitizer. Oh my God, how many hand sanitizers am I going to have in here? I don't need all of this. I'm tripping. I also got stuff for my teeth. So like flossing, that's what I have in here. And this is an old Tic Tac bottle. And I just put it in here. Cause I didn't want to bring the whole bag. Lip gloss, wipe my glasses. Cause I wear glasses. So this is just a cloth. And this is the fat oil lip drip. So this is lip oil too. I like the Fenty better than this one, but I also like this one, but I like Fenty better. Oh, and then I got some more perfume, wipes. Someone gave me a business card. This is Chanel. Chanel sample. My little wallet. So I have this little extra wallet to carry for like my essential stuff, like my driver's license, anything I need to grab and show. Then I have another hair tie and some more coins. <sighs> Oh, and this right here is sanitizer. 
So I basically took the hand sanitizer and just clipped it inside. And this is how the inside of the bag looked. Very open, empty, and a lot of room. And I got another lifesaver. Yeah, a lot of room in this bag. I highly recommend this bag. I think it's a nice bag. Like I said, it's Sofiana leather. It's gold hardware. It does come with a pocket inside too. And actually, these little buckles right here, you can attach one of these inside. So I will link my video at the end with a more extensive review. But I still recommend this bag. I'm enjoying using this bag. Actually, I can't wait to change bags. I have a brown version, but I think I'm going to wear that in the fall time. And then I have this pattern too, which I think I'm probably going to change too. And I'll do a video showcasing that bag when I do switch to that bag. But that's pretty much it for this video. I got all this stuff and I need to put it back in my bag. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below. Be honest. How clean is your bag? Don't come over here lying. Be honest. Is your bag messy or is it very organized? Like no judgment here because you saw what I had going on over here. So let's be real. No judgment over here. I'm just curious. Am I the only one to have an organized chaos in my purse? Or... Are there others like me? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Bye guys.